What's going on y'all, Captain Collier. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time tuning in and you love saltwater fishing, please consider subscribing. That's what we do on this channel, saltwater fishing. But as y'all can see, we are not out on the boat today. It is very windy. That has been the story for the last 10 days. Will continue to be the story for the next 10 or so days. As y'all can see, hopefully, trees are moving. It's just not fun being out on a boat, y'all. Definitely not fun trying to fish and make videos while it's blowing. But I do have a video from last year of uh, me, Cody, AKA Potato Head, my buddy John and my sister Tara. We went offshore, went and got our quick limit of snapper. But to just give y'all a little backstory, if we were fishing the Alabama Deep Sea Rodeo and uh, it was pretty slick. It was calm, you know, the calm before the storm little dot out on our radar out in the distance you know we didn't think nothing of it but uh, we decided to run offshore and uh, we got about 20 miles offshore as soon as we got to the spot we felt that AC kick in y'all and you already know what that means it's fixing to get bad but uh, we stayed probably longer than we should have caught our limited snapper within 15 minutes or so good good snapper you know good eating size and so by that time waves done kicked up winds blowing 20 25 miles an hour we had to head back in which was against the waves and uh, as y'all see in the upcoming video we launched from dolphin island and uh, actually ended up in bayou la battery mainly because it would be more safe and uh, faster going more west than straight north towards dolphin island because we would be going against the waves uh, definitely do not recommend anybody in the bay boat doing this this was a mistake on my part Definitely don't go out if there's any storms out there that you think you could get caught up in. Uh, you just never know what could happen. But anyways, that's enough talking. If y'all enjoyed the video, y'all please give me a thumbs up. See you out on the water. That's a good one. Get him up. Dude, they are freaking. Look at this. Try and let him eat it. Oh. Oh, he just pulled it again. No? Come back for it, buddy. We own him. Oh. 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 back in. It's about to get nasty. Take it easy with him now. He's up. Hey, that's good eating size right there. That was a bad. <laughs> we just eating, you know, seven, eight pound snapper in a boat. Just free line of these fish. We gotta get back on it. Drop them. We got one more snapper before it gets bad here. They are right on top of the water. We done got them fired up now. The ant man is on the boat today. I'm letting this snapper eat this. I got a ground mullet on. Uh oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. I need to loosen that drag up just a tad. <laughs> Let's see who's bigger. Stay there. Stay there. 
think yours might be bigger. This one's gonna take him a little ice bath. A little hot bath? The ice bath. Oh. It ain't really picture time right now. <laughs> we'll do it. Hold on, let's see that box. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We ain't about to get some nasty stuff. <laughs> I, I really need to do this. I said originally we're uh, in the bay, bay of the right now let's go ahead and show you our boots here go ahead what, what you working with there john just a little bit of water <laughs> oh god you can't even get him off. <laughs> that one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> good old extra toughs lord, <laughs> good lord <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we got caught up in it as y'all could see y'all know as good as well as i do video does not do it complete justice as far as showing how bad it actually gets two of course the gopro died before we actually got into the really, really nasty stuff where the lightning was popping you know it's probably four four foot seas you know four foot seas at three seconds in a bay boat not fun you know if we were an offshore boat with higher gunnels that could handle this stuff that's made to run in this stuff would not have been as bad of a situation. You're probably thinking, well, why don't you just go around the storm? Well, this was one of those storms where you're just completely surrounded and the only way to get out of it is through it. So that's what we did, we made it safely. So just a couple things to keep in mind, y'all, if you do happen to get caught in something like this, which if you boat regularly along the Gulf Coast, there's a good chance you probably will at some point, you know, cause we got pop-up storms all the time, is uh, debt one is check your bilge pump, make sure it's working, make sure it's pumping water out. Uh, we had multiple waves come over the bow and it doesn't take much to fill that bilge up if it's not working and uh, that's a good way to sink if your bilge pump is not pumping out water two make sure your life jackets are easy to get to all your safety equipment and three is just stay calm y'all keep a positive attitude trust your boating skills trust your boat and uh, make sure you're not freaking out giving everybody else a panic attack but uh that that's gonna wrap today's video up i hope y'all enjoyed it just a little small clip from last year haven't been able to get out and get some fresh content because of this wind have, has uh, been blowing so hard lately but we're gonna get some good stuff for y'all next week hope y'all enjoy the video if you did please leave me a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel we'll see you back out in the water next time <laughs>